Okay, guys, I <laughs> hope this is going to work. So, you're just going to cut off the tip right here. Just cut it off. And then, you're just going to cut the sides off. Both sides. And then you're going to cut off this part right here. Just that much. So then you're going to cut off the skin, peel the skin off. And try to keep it as close to the top of the skin as possible so you're not taking any of the meat from the aloe vera. Which I feel like I'm doing on this side, but we're going to scrape it, so why not waste not, right? Okay. Ew. So it's really sticky as you see, but it's good conditioner. So we can just, you don't see me do it. Cut into it and it's really, really thick. I'm just going to put it in. And aloe vera gel is very good for um, hair growth. Oh, good. It's a um, good choice of hair growth. It helps your hair grow. Then why are we using it? Well, why are we stopped? Oh. All right, so I'm just going to keep pulling it. All that mucusy stuff is so good for your hair, you guys. Don't freak out by it. My daughter's freaking. So, Girl, are you going to scrape it, really? I am going to scrape it. Waste not, want not. Girl. And look how... It's nasty. Don't, that don't. is so good for your hair, though. That, that, that. <laughs> Shut up. So, lift it up. Hold this up top, and you're going to scrape the skin off. Try to stay as close to the skin as possible because you don't want to take any of the meat from the aloe vera. You want to keep that. She's slicing. So the reason why I do three and three is going to last a really long time is because I am using basically for my leave-in conditioner and I'm also putting some in for our regular conditioner. And um, the more aloe vera you have, the healthier and happier your hair is. Ew, that's just gross. Ew. Okay, so. Shh. Okay. So you're going to. My kids are freaking. So you're going to just scrape that good stuff. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> I know oh, y'all are all pretty. thinking to yourselves. Shh. Right in. Then I'm going to go to the big one. Start from the back and you just cut it. It's very thick. That's what it looks like. Throw it right in. Do not touch it's so yourself. slimy. Uh -huh. There. Show the people one more time. Thank you. And you know, it's amazing how much this one leaf has in. It can make so much. So three leaves is going to be a lot. It'll probably last me at least a good month. I'm also going to put some of this and liquefy it really good. And put it in my um, daily water spray. So I have just like a daily spray of aloe vera in my water. So I'm going to do a lot of things with this. I'm going to finish with the aloe vera. And I'm going to get everything ready to do the um, 
mixing and I'll be right back okay bye okay guys so this is three leaves of the aloe vera and now I'm gonna go bit by bit in blending this with lemon juice so my first one I'm gonna do to do my leave-in conditioner so this is the conditioner I'm gonna use to do my coconut relaxer Okay, so I'm not going to put a lot. This is one-fourth of a cup, and I'm just going to do half of that. So, oh, you see it? That's how much lemon juice I'm putting in. So, and there's enough juice already in the aloe vera, so not a lot. So it's one-eighth? One-eighth. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to chop this, because I don't want to liquefy it right now. Good. Okay. This is the consistency I want for my leave-in conditioner. It's very thick. It's very bubbly. My daughter's freaking out right now. And it's very, <laughs> very slimy. Alright, so that's the consistency I want. <laughs> and you know, I'm going to put more lemon juice in. Mm -hmm. So now another one eighth, which equals a total of one fourth in there. Just gonna grind it up, mix it up until it's good and consistent, and this is gonna be used for my consistency. It's not thick, you don't want it to be thick. And then I'm this is one of my old bottles of moisturizer that's empty now. And it's a moisturizing conditioner, um, generic version I bought from Sally's. I really love it for my hair. It's a um, humidifying moisturizer. We're in North Carolina, so humidity is not our friend with the frizz. So, this is one of my newer bottles. I'm going to take this and just mm -mm. squeeze it in. <laughs> I'm going to take the aloe vera mixture. Put it in here. Mm -mm. It's still... Is it coming up? just going to take a towel spoon or something and mix it in and it should liquefy the conditioner. There we go. I'll do it again. All right, thank so you. I'm going to put the aloe vera in there. There you go. And it's just going to go in and it's probably going to be half my content. So about that much. And it just goes down nice and smooth. And then I'm going to put my conditioner in because the slime I'm hoping that it should just go down. Yeah. And then this is just basically my um, co-washing conditioner that we're going to be using from now on. And um, because of the aloe vera gel promotes health and um, growth and strength in your hair, I'm hoping that this should help our hair grow tremendously. Okay, so anytime I want to style my hair in the morning, if I need to wet it, to style it or whatnot, this is what I use. It is usually, it's almost gone, so usually it's three-fourths water, one-fourth oil, and then one-fourth of what? Aloe vera gel. i to add that to it. So I'm going to add the aloe vera gel to it. Pour it in. And not a lot. Maybe a little more. Would you say like one cup? All right, it's going. It's good. Yeah. Then I'm gonna add water to it, and I have enough of one fourth of oil in there. Ooh, I'm wasting. And then I just usually shake because the aloe vera gel is thicker. If you see it, it's right here. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the yeah, light there you go, or right there, right there. You see it right here because it's thicker. You see the um, oil and water is a mixture in between. And I just shake it before I style my hair in the morning and just spray after that. And because the water liquefying the aloe vera gel plant that it should be good. The rest of this, to save it just so it doesn't mess. You know, aloe vera gel does expire after seven days. I'm just going to take an empty ice tray and I'm going to pour it in the ice tray. I found this out from, I can't remember her name. I'll put 
her information there. It was such a great idea. And I'm going to put them in a bowl and just freeze them so that I can use it for a later date and just liquefy it in water. Okay, hope this helped you guys and see you next time. Bye-bye.